Well, tough to top this one. The two top teams in the league both playing with reckless abandon. And while reckless play led to turnovers that led to critical points for both teams, what turned this one in Toronto's favor was twofold. The errant foot of Terry Baker and the fact that Doug Flutie always seems to find a way to win. And when Flutie found pinball Clemens inside after noticing his defender favoring him outside, all he could think was one thing. Oh, just hold on to the ball. <laughs> don't, don't drop it. Don't. And then he and, uh, I think, Maz I don't know who it was, Mazzotti down there, running into each other around the five-yard line trying to get in the end zone. I just, all I could picture was the ball falling on the ground. I happened to, to come open, and as usual, he found me, and I made a move, and at that point, all I could think of, we're in field goal range, protect the football. So I'm just protecting the football, and nobody was coming. You know, we have a confidence on this team that, you know, we can go down and score, you know, when we want to, and, you know, we did that. They did it on offense and on defense and on special teams and did so in bruising fashion. It was a war. You know, I tell you what, there were some shots being thrown out there today. It was, it's, it was an incredibly physical game. Uh, you know, the boys are going to enjoy themselves today, pass themselves up tomorrow, and we'll head to Edmonton on Tuesday. We had to stop the run. As long as we did, we closed the gaps up, and we came out the corner. You know, and then that's what we did to stop them. You know, we're doing forcing the, the pass, and that's, you know, that's what we came to the game we wanted to do. We're so disappointed in, in losing this game. Um, you know, you got to take your hat off to Toronto. They did a heck of a, heck of a job with their ball club, staying focused and, and just taking advantage of, uh, of our mistakes. Well, it's heartbreaking um, to be that close and not finish it off. Uh, especially with the feeling we had on the bench there in the third and fourth quarter. I thought um, I thought it was our game. What happened in this game was that, you know, I had the opportunity to make the 38-yarder and, and miss that. And so then I, you know, a couple of minutes later, I had the chance to make a 42-yarder. And, and uh, so I'm going out on the field with not the same confidence level because of the fact that I missed the 38-yarder. Over 32,000 on hand to see perhaps Doug Flutie's final appearance here in Toronto. Rumors are already flying that Flutie, Robert Drummond, and perhaps even Don Matthews have all set their sights on the NFL next season. But until then, they're setting their sights on Sunday and a second consecutive Grey Cup championship. At the Dome, I'm Rob Sinclair for Sports Live.